What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of my Red Bull Leipzig career. Today we are, I believe, on episode 27, so we are definitely getting on. We've made some good progress throughout the season. We're finding our way through. We played a few games in between the episode as we do usually now, another three games. And it's fair to say, if you look at that league table there, we had some mixed fortunes. You can see we're all the way down in fourth place. But I won't say any more. I will pass over to myself and take a look at how we got on. So getting straight into today's match, as you can see, our first match was up against Mainz. Didn't clear the ball too well and they scored that fantastic goal. Straight after this, we actually did get a penalty. We got taken down in the box there. And then Renato Sanchez stepped up for the penalty. We usually go left, but this time it was saved. And that was that really, 1-0. After this, we had a game against Dortmund. Literally, nothing really happened at all. We had that free kick. There's another couple of chances that they had. Just went wide. But other than that, nothing else happened. And it was a ball draw. Nil, nil. Finally, we jump into our game against Cologne. They started off quite strong. And they managed to just finish here. A nice little cross. Couldn't keep up with their defenders. We did reply back after that. Another goal there, slotted through by Mbappe into the bottom corner. That was 1-0 in the 37th minute. And then right at the end of the game, we thought it was over. And you'd usually expect me to say that we've scored here, but no. They got this cross in. We didn't clear it very well again. They started running in and literally, there you go. Curl top corner. That was it. Some disappointing games today. So after looking at those games... We didn't do very well. We, I don't really know. We just didn't put anything together very well at all. Nothing really worked out. And I think we drew one and lost two. That last game that we played, we lost in the final few minutes. Very disappointing indeed. As a result, we have dropped down to fourth place. The table is still very close with six points separating first through to sixth place in the table. First things first, today we're going to do a quick training session. We're just going to simulate all. After this is done, we'll jump into the first game of the day. And training wasn't too bad. Two Ds, two Bs, and an A. Nobody has improved overall, but stats have made good progress. Kicking things off with this team selection. We're down a little bit on fitness with quite a few of our players. We did have a lot of games in a very short space of time. Hence why nearly everybody is actually down on fitness. So I think Klosterman will have to come out. Probably being replaced by Schmitz, which he can. Bruno can probably sit in there instead of Dembele. He was a little bit low on fitness. Bailey as well. He can get a chance instead of Sabitza. I'm sure he can do a job there. We probably need one more midfielder just to sit in the middle. I might use Ilsanka. I'm not going to use Sanchez obviously because his fitness is down so I think yeah we will actually chuck Ilsanka in move Kaita a little bit forward for this game which is actually quite rare that doesn't usually happen for him and all of our centre backs seem to be down on fitness too so Carlos Linz is actually going to get a chance in the team today we're going to replace Jonathan Tarr he's more down on fitness than Koscielny I'm sure Koscielny can do a job and yeah, he can do a job, he can sit in the middle, should use up a bit less fitness, and we should be good to go. Welcome everybody to today's game. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is with me, and it's at the Bundesliga game we've got for you. I didn't actually mention, but Hoffenheim are one place above us in the table, so there's a lot riding on this game. Whoever wins will come out on top in the league. Good work by Kaita. Someone's going to run back into the middle. There's a man over there. Bailey. 1 0. Nearly screwed it up, but it's fine. 1 0. Oh, that was poor. That was bad. That was bad. And there you go. 1 0. Bad piece of defending on that side there. Should have picked it off, but. Just wasn't good enough, and we paid the price. One all. Come on, El Sanka. Don't know why you're in that position. Down low. Oh, what a ball. Bruno. 2 1. 
lovely little bow, bottom corner. Oh, fantastic work to get that back. Oh, penalty. Let's go. Good work by Jose Gaia. Last time we went top left, it got saved. We're going to try it again. It usually works. And it does once again. 3-1, 37 minutes in. Let's wrap this game up. Good sidestep there. Okay, top defending. Werner is free. And we should be able to just get past him. Hopefully we can get a little finesse in here. Good save though. Maybe a cross. Someone get a head onto it. There we go. Timo Werner with the header. 4-1. This is turning into a demolition job. Good, good. Get to it, somebody. Oh, how did that go in? I think our deflection basically caused that goal. Doesn't matter. Still 4-2 up. We can save and win this game. Come on, Bailey. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, we had a man over on the other side. And it doesn't matter. We won. It was a very big game. Hoffenheim were above us in the league. But with that victory, we moved back up into the top three of the table. After that game, Emil Forsberg just came to us to thank us for restoring him into the team, as his words are. He did ask a while back if he could get some more game time. It was only, I think actually it was kind of in line with him getting injured, so yeah, it, uh, that's basically what happened. And now he's back in the team and playing very well indeed. In the meantime, there was actually nothing else to do in between games. We only had a few days, as you can see. We still have a few issues with stamina, I can say. But we should be able to manage. We have a very... Well, we, ha we have a decent-sized squad. So we can definitely get some other players in the team. Uh, Forsberg, if I can find him. He's a little bit low on fitness, but he can go in there on the left. Koscielny's lower on this game, so I'm actually going to bring Klosterman as a right-sided centre-back for this one. And I was going to say give Schmitz another go because he played so well. However, his fitness isn't great, so I think Alex Concert-Chow will be getting a run-out as a right-wing back. I have full confidence that he can do well in that position. In terms of some fresh players that we're going to bring onto the bench, I think Mayer, he can definitely... Get a run out. Haustenberg can go on there instead of Gaia. I would say Oliver Burke. Yeah, I'll, I'll just chuck Oliver Burke on instead of Bailey. He might be able to get a run out. I think next year we're probably going to loan him out. Because as you know, we've got the man Ronaldo coming to join us. So yeah, I think that's our team. A little bit low in a few areas around the left side of defence. But I think we are very capable of winning this game. We're a little bit short at the back in terms of fitness, but it's nothing too major. We started off very well last game, so we should be able to repeat that form in this one and bring home another win. Nice little start, and Mbappe perhaps over the top, but not quite. Can we get a shot up with Sabitza? Okay. Well, there we go. 1-0. We seem to be scoring so many early goals. What a lovely finesse. Look at this. Bottom corner. Not even a deflection. Lovely. Come on, Debella, yes. Let's go. 2 0. Nice little tap in there. Oh, God, we can't get near him. Oh, what a good goal that was. The finesses seem to be the way forward these days. Very nice. Oh, 
Oh, let's try and get Selk through. Why not? Okay, we've definitely got the pace. Come on, come on. Bottom corner. It wasn't even bottom corner. It's in the middle. Who cares? 3-1. Finishing off that game. And that was the last bit of play. 3-1, two games from two today. And we are back on form. That was another very big victory for the day. In in between episodes, you know, we struggled. We were up against lower down teams the majority of the time and we just couldn't get it done. But today, we've played two teams that are literally in that top six fighting for the title and we've managed to beat both of them got a bit of a distance now four points to Hoffenheim below us which is very good I'm going to simulate another trading session also Timo Werner has asked for some improved wages so we'll go and have a look at that in a second also in between the episodes there were quite a few other contracts that I actually did attempt to or already renewed um, we had quite a few players that were only on two years, but basically, as you can see, these guys here, uh, Kaiser, Bailey, Brandt, Concert Chow, Donnarumma, they all wanted really not much more than what they were already on. I was surprised, you know, because we were in Europe, but yeah, they're very unselfish players here. And to be fair, 40,000 for Werner, an extra two years, that really isn't that bad at all. It's a crucial first team player and yeah, his... His contract, if he accepts, will go up to four years, which is good. We don't really have too many players. Okay, we have quite a few. These guys, I think they may actually end up going. I might offer Il Sanka a new contract. Not 30,000, though. Perhaps 25. And he's more of a rotation player, if that really. Redman, he can go. Probably Bellot as well. There's not too much of a need, because we can always bring up some youth players. I'll get around to these other guys next year. Mainly our youth players that we'd want to keep. Obviously, Hausenberg as well. Paulson, we might look to sell him. Might not. Haven't decided just yet. Good news. Timo Werner accepted our contract. I'm not sure we can say the same for Ilsanka. And he's actually going to move on at the end of his contract, which is fair enough. If he wants out, he can go and get some more football somewhere else. We'll just have to buy someone new. Perhaps bring someone else up and replace him in the team so jumping into our last match today we're up against Berlin another tough game I'm thinking we're actually going to play a similar lineup to last time uh, Forsberg's going to get another run out there I'm going to give Mbappe another go but he's actually going to play just behind the striker on the left so bits that can move over to the right Tiedemans can get a rest Sanchez can play I did like Klosterman in the back three as well. The pace definitely helped, so I think he'll go there. Koscielny in the middle. In fact, Koscielny on the side, tight in the middle. This is a very experienced back line for us today. Gaia can stay on the bench, and I may also actually give Konstantin or Schmitz another go. Konstantin did very well for himself, but Schmitz played fantastic the game before, so he can go in there. Konstantin's a little bit low on stamina, but... I would say I would give him a place on the bench, but not today. So yeah, that's going to be our team. Another strong one. Ideally, we're going to come out of this game with another win. And today, it'll be three wins from three. Hello, everybody. I'm Martin Tyler. Alongside me, the familiar voice of Alan Smith. Yeah, it should be a cracker today. Really looking forward to it. We're finally into our last match of the day. Hoping to make it three from three. We should be able to do it. We've been playing very well recently. Let's get a shot off if we can. I'm sure that was a foul. Maybe we can get a cross in. Nearly. Just off of Mbappe's toes. Sanchez... Can't get in there. Werner. Mbappe. Oh, straight into his arms. Werner. Oh, Sabitza. Oh, come on. Sanchez. Oh, and wide.
Oh, that's not a foul. Come on. I reckon we'll have one last chance if we can get this out here. Okay. One last chance. Disappointing. We were very poor in the first half. Our passing just didn't really come together very well. But yeah, it was a ball draw, nil-nil, and not the best way to finish off today, but we've had some very good form, so we can't complain. Okay, so after that game, that'll bring today's episode more or less to a close. From the other results that I saw, Dortmund and Bayern did actually both lose. I don't even know where Bayern are in the table. They are well down in ninth place, 12 points off the lead. They were similar last year, and then they did come storming back at the end, but we were obviously, as you know, still able to hold out. So we are currently sitting in third place, three points behind Leverkusen, who are leading in between episodes. Wasn't the best, two losses and a draw. However, I think we've recovered it pretty well. Two wins, two very important wins against Hoffenheim and Hamburg. And then we just drew our final game against Berlin. Just taking a quick look at our bald expectations. I haven't really looked at this in a while. And, okay, so we did actually fail one of them, which is why we're down at an 82. That's not a bad rating. It's just, I think last year we were around 90. Um... The attendance thing, we should be good for that. We did the Champions Cup one. The domestic success, we're going to do that as well. And there's nothing financial. So it's purely youth development that we're being marked down on. So nothing too bad at all. But yeah, I think we will end the episode here for today. I hope you did enjoy as always. You probably would have seen there's been some trailers, bits and bobs for FIFA 18 coming out. Cristiano Ronaldo on the cover Legends are no longer part of the game. They're now called Icons. And they're also going to be on PlayStation, which is very good. It's very interesting because, you know, I'll finally be able to have a go of them. Hopefully, they'll bring a lot more players out. People like Tierra and Marie, whatever. Let me know what icons you want to see in FIFA 18. Because I'm hoping players like that will be there. You know, you might one day be able to build the whole Invincibles Arsenal squad. That would be pretty good. So, yeah. Let me know down below what icons you'd like to see in the next game. And then, obviously, related to this, let me know if there's anything you want to see, anything you want me to do, any other games you want me to try out, whatever. I'm completely open to anything. So, just drop that down below. As I said, remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Leave me those comments. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you all on the next video.